I think it's surfaces like that that offer you a bit of assistance. Um, you know, it's evident it's a spin-friendly wicket, um, spin-friendly conditions. So you just got to stay patient and uh, ask good questions of the batsman for long periods of time. Um, we know Sri Lankans are good players of spin, so you've got to respect that and, and make sure you put balls in good areas for long periods. I think, once again, it's it's a patience game. Um, in these conditions, once guys are set, um, you know, it can be a little bit difficult to get guys out. So you've just got to keep hanging in there for long periods. And like you saw, um, both teams had very much in-out fields um, once the partnership was set, um, which meant you still had attacking options, but you were still covering the boundaries. So I think, you know, you just got to keep hanging in, wait for the batsman to make a mistake and play the long game. Because, um, I mean... Yes, there's turn, but it's quite slow turn. So once the batsman's established, they can kind of, you know, get an understanding of how much it's going and what it's doing. So you've just got to keep keep plugging away and keep putting the ball in good areas. I think it's also, I mean, for me, I started off a lot quicker. Um, and as a spin bowling group, we, we all spoke about, you know, making sure we figure out what the right pace for the surface is. Um, I believe from their end, there was a little bit, it was a little bit more rougher, so they were able to bowl a little bit quicker and get a little bit out of the wicket. Um, I mean, obviously, I can't, I can't see from my end what it's doing at their end, um, but for me, the main focus was finding the right pace for the surface as early as I could and then kind of, you know, sticking to it and building on that. Um, and as we saw later on in the day, it probably broke up a little bit more and started going even further. So, I mean, that's a good sign. Um, you know, the wicket's deteriorating. Um, obviously a lot quicker than it would back home. But, yeah, I mean, I suppose it's what you expect in spin-friendly conditions. Uh, yeah, we have our set plans. Um, obviously we speak about it as a bowling group and, and um, you know, try and work towards those plans. But if I tell you now, then they'll know what the plans are. So <laughs> I can't really, you know, give too much away. But, yeah, I mean, as a bowling group, we, we do have... Um, a couple of options that we want to go towards and, and a few plans that we want to work work off. Um, to be honest, both those guys, you know, really got established and played a good partnership and, you know, we were fortunate enough to get them out at the times that we did because um, we know both of them are capable of playing long innings and, and batting for a long period of time. Um, that's a tough one. I'd like to think I take wickets everywhere. <laughs> but, um, no, I mean, I suppose... As a spinner, you thrive on, on wickets that give you a bit of assistance. Um, and Sri Lanka is a place where spinners have thrived in the past and, and spinners have dominated in the past. So coming here, you knew that the ball was going to turn. So it was around kind of figuring out what the right pace would be, um, how players are going to play you in these conditions and, and what areas they're going to look to hit you. And um, for me, that it, it basically boils down to that, you know. Look at areas where guys are going to try and hit you and try and restrict them on that um, and, and force them to play good shots. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this and don't forget to hit the bell icon for our latest content.